Hey, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey. And today we're gonna make spicy buttermilk fried chicken. Um, I'm using a whole chicken that I cut up into eight pieces today. Um, so we start by brining it in buttermilk, of course, because um, we're in the South. Um, so you're gonna season it with your poultry seasoning and cover it in hot sauce and buttermilk. Um, stir that all up, let it combine and sit, and then cover it and put it into the fridge um, at least a couple of hours, at least an hour, I should say, um, but no more than 12 or else your buttermilk will really, really over tenderize your chicken and that is a thing. So um, once it's done, you wanna remove it from the buttermilk, um, put it on a wire rack and pat the skin dry. And then you're gonna actually tint it with foil and put it back in the fridge. So now we're gonna make our flour dredge. Um, it'll be all-purpose flour, baking soda, and cornstarch as usual. And then you are going to season it to taste. Season it very liberally, but season it with what you want. I'll put a recipe in the description box, but you know, it's like Auntie Fee says, the people can do what the people wanna do. Then you're gonna make your egg wash um, using eggs, buttermilk, hot sauce, and poultry seasoning from you know, the same stuff that you used to brine it with. Um, you'll see that I am using Texas peat, and that's because I'm from Eastern North Carolina, and that is our hot sauce. Um, so I used hot sauce, um, Texas peat hot sauce in the buttermilk brine and in the egg wash, and I used Texas peat dust seasoning amongst others in the flour dredge, and that's why you see the orange color. Um, but as far as preparing or doing this part here, um, you want to make sure that you lightly coat it in flour first, dip it in your egg wash, and then put it back in the flour. And on that second time, you want to kind of press to adhere. Really make sure that you get a good, good quality coating on the outside of that chicken. Now, after all of your chicken is thoroughly coated, um, you are gonna set it aside on the counter for about half an hour. This is gonna let it come back up to temp from being in the fridge while you let the skin dry out. And it lets your oil get a chance to preheat. Um, you wanna preheat your oil to about 360 degrees. Use an oil thermometer if you're kind of new to frying chicken or if you're old to it and you just wanna be sure, it's, it's very helpful. Um, you want to make sure that you maintain a temperature of around 315 degrees while you're frying. This really helps to make sure that the inside gets done before the outside does. Um, also, a meat thermometer really helps here, especially when you have different pieces of chicken that, you know, some are huge, some are small. It can be really hard to know. And no matter what anyone tells you, I personally think that it's impossible to know by looking at chicken whether it's done. I just... It, it's not foolproof to me. Um, between batches, you want to make sure that you skim the crunchy craggies out so they don't burn. And also take the time to bring the oil back to 360 degrees before you put in anything else. Also be way more careful when you're putting in your chicken and don't let your oil splash like I do. Um, after it's all cooked, um, you... I mean, that's it. There is, I guess there's not really anything else to say. You're done. Just drain it. Don't drain it on paper towels though. You know how I feel about that. Put it on a wire rack and then you're done. And voila, you've got beautiful, lovely, spicy, delicious fried chicken. So there you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Yeah, nobody's safe. Jolly Bee. This is my twist, my take, my copycat of your chicken joy. Who's pumped for this? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. Bang! <laughs> After all the research and reviews I watch, I think I'm ready to make this. Let me show you how easy it is to make Jolly Bee Chicken Joy. My twist, my take, copycat of this beautiful creation. Don't blink. Let's do this. 10 pieces of dark meat chicken here. I'm gonna throw in half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper. Get your beautiful clean hand while I got a glove on just because I do have a cut. Get into it, guys. Rub every little crack. Make sure, guys, all right? <laughs> Once I got this nice and coated, I'm just gonna throw this in the fridge for the time being. First quarter of the chicken, plain white flour, wet batter, three cracked eggs. This is the best fried chicken method you guys will ever make or do. 
You know, no shells, please. <laughs> Boston one club soda, or if you guys don't have club soda, sparkling water, guys. This is what it is. A teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna go in with one cup of flour. Beat that in. Once you got that nice and beat it in, throw it in the fridge. Next, seasoning flour. Two cups of flour going in, and to this, one cup of rice flour. There you go. Throw the rest of the bag in. That's one cup. <laughs> tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of white pepper, half a tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of Chinese five spice. Whisk that all in. All right, time to fry. How to get good fry cooking oil for fried chicken. So I got vegetable oil here. I'm just gonna turn my heat onto a four or a medium high heat for 20 minutes, guys. As we wait for oil to heat up, I got this, guys. Let's make some Filipino sweet style spaghetti. So very easy, keeping my size simple just because we gotta focus more on the chicken, guys, all right? <laughs> got two cups of hot dog. I'm not sure if all Filipino do this, but I seen my sister make Filipino spaghetti before and she added condensed milk. So I'm gonna add in one heaping scoop of condensed milk into this. 20 minutes in, I'm gonna take my chopstick or if you guys have a wooden spoon, stick your wooden spoon into the oil. Once it bubbles up like that, guys, the oil's ready. So we're gonna do a drums first. So into plain white flour, shake off any excess, into wet coating, shake off any excess, and into our seasoning flour. And just pack that in, pack it in very well, guys. Like very, very well. Shake off any excess, take this into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. Cooking time for these. 15 to 16 minutes, guys. As we wait for our fried chicken to fry, let's do up our spaghetti. So salt, and in goes our spaghetti for our spaghetti or our Filipino spaghetti here heating up. 15 minutes in, nothing to it, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Just a moment of silence for this, guys. My fried chicken game is too strong. It's way too strong. <clears throat> Chef Ramsay. <laughs> Chef Ramsay. Just Chef Ramsay. Look at that, guys. This fried chicken game, guys, it's way too strong for YouTube right now. <laughs> Starting up on our next batch, all we gotta do is strain all the bits and pieces. Make sure, guys, you strain all the bits and pieces out of this oil here. If you guys don't, it's gonna burn on your next batch. So make sure, all right? Our thighs, same thing guys, dunk it in the pool. I don't care if they can swim, you just have to get in. <laughs> For thighs, 18 to 19 minutes. I think the only thing now is, does it taste like Jollibee? I personally don't know what Jollibee fried chicken tastes like. You guys who do know what Jollibee chicken tastes like. You guys need to try this recipe and tell me if this tastes like Jollibee's fried chicken. But the look is there, I'll say. It's crispy. It's extra crispy. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Most beautifulest thing ever. I love fried chicken. <laughs> Let's make our gravy. So two tablespoons of butter going in. Once you got the butter to melt, two tablespoons of flour. Cook that flour in with the butter. Once it got a nice brown and shaded color, two cups of beef stock, low sodium. To season this, one tablespoon of light soy sauce and a teaspoon of white pepper. Whisk this until thickened. Thighs coming out. Look at that. This, my friend, is a work of art. Beautiful. I'm gonna set this up. So we got our Filipino pasta or spaghetti on one side. And our Filipinos sweet sauce with the hot dogs. On this side, the fried chicken. Gravy. 
Last thing here. Just some cheese on top. And there it is, guys. This is my take, twist, copycat of Jolly Bee Chicken. When are you guys gonna come by and try some? Cause I'm not even sure if it does taste like Jolly Bee, but I know it's gonna taste delicious. Who doesn't like fried chicken? Nobody's safe here, guys. Like I said in the beginning, guys, nobody's safe. <laughs> take the first bite of this, guys. Quick time, this is my twist, my take, my copycat of Jolly Bee fried chicken. Quick time. Yes, got it. Nice. Come a little closer, guys. I'm pumped for this. <laughs> wow. Such an amazing chicken right here. If this is the taste of Jollibee, I'm amazed. Mm -hmm. My fried chicken game is too strong, guys. <laughs> it's just way too strong. Mmm. That's what's up. Mm hmm Way too strong. Morning, sous chef Kitty. You're a little late today. Look at you. I'm in the middle of eating right now. Why you wake up just right on time just to eat, Kitty? Huh? You little brat. You guys need to try this fried chicken and tell me if it does taste like Jollibee or not. Let's get in on this Filipino pasta or spaghetti. I think I put too much spaghetti, but it's all good. It's sweet. <laughs> the extra pasta will balance the sweetness out. I don't know why I put the condensed milk. I think it's even sweeter now, but it's still all good. I'm gonna try to get everything for you guys. Here it is. Hot dog and all. Take the first bite of this. Filipino sweet spaghetti. You guys got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Mm hmm I shouldn't have added the uh, condensed milk. It's super sweet. <laughs> well, it's, it's okay sweet. Like, it's sweet. But not overpowered sweet. Wait, I lied. It's very sweet. <laughs> but it's still all good. Mmm. -hmm. Have you guys ever eaten good fried chicken ever before? Come on guys, I'm giving you guys a recipe to this. You guys gotta try this out. I'm gonna dunk it into my gravy this time. I think it's well perfectly seasoned already, but I think the gravy will add it a nice salty bite to it. Guys, second bite of this. Quick time. It's got it. Nice. I'm super pumped. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That soy sauce just kicks in. It's like a light soy kick when you take a bite of it or a taste of it.
You know what I should have cooked for this? The rice. I should have pulled up some rice. Rice would have been perfect with this. Mm hmm. Alright, next time, I'll cut down on, well, I, I won't put the condensed milk. Mmm. I may cut down some salt on the chicken. For this to balance with this, I'm gonna cut the salt down on the chicken here and leave the gravy as it is. Let's break this one up. Guys, when are you guys gonna come by? Come on guys, the most beautifulest chicken you guys ever pop in your mouth, I promise you. Mmm. -hmm. So beautiful. <laughs> I want some of this chicken ass. This part is the chicken ass. Let me bite up to it for you guys. Mmm. Just amazing. A bite of the oyster or the chicken ass? That's got it. Nice. I'm super pumped for this. So tender. Mmm. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Food and life is such a beautiful thing, don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your pop shirts or Food and Life is a Beautiful Thing shirt. Like, share this. Peace out. A lot of you guys are messaging me, DMing me, emailing me, personal emailing me, commenting on or if I seen the video where Kev on stage gave me a shout out. Yes, I did see you guys. <laughs> Big shout out to Kev on stage. Thank you, my brother, for the blessing. Just because you blessed me with this beautiful shout out. Let's do a tribute to how to properly eat fried chicken, how to cook the best fried chicken ever. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best fried chicken ever on YouTube. I promise you, don't blink. Don't blink on this recipe, guys. This recipe of mine took about a year just to get down, and I'm showing you guys, okay? Just don't blink. If you guys blink, you goofed it. <laughs> so nine pieces of chicken here. I got Louisiana hot sauce. I'm gonna throw in half a cup of this, guys. How do I know this is a half a cup? Because I'm just eyeballing it. Do this. Half a tablespoon of salt. I got this Thai chili, guys. I used to use um, what's that stuff called? Habaneros, but I only got Thai chili today. So, do this. Very simple, guys. Take this. Mix this up. Let's get that nice and blended. Take this <coughs> habanero, habanero or Thai chili, guys. Dump it in. <coughs> oh, oh, that's spicy. <coughs> Scrape all that goodness out, guys. Don't waste any of it. All right. You want that beautiful chili in there? Paprika. Let's go one tablespoon of this, or more, because I like paprika and chili powder. Half tablespoon of this. Or more. <laughs> Do this, half a cup of water. All right, nothing to it, get that beautiful clean glove of yours. Guys, forgot to pick up gloves. Make sure you put on gloves for this, all right? 
rub that in, rub that in very well. So I'm gonna let this marinate for about three hours minimum, guys, in the fridge, all right? The longer it sits, the tastier it'll be, I promise you. Start off like this, first coating, plain white flour, guys. I'm gonna do two cups of this. Next coating is gonna be wet batter. So for this wet batter, we got one cup soda. Three crack eggs. Don't you dare sleep on this recipe, guys. A tablespoon of seasoning salt. One cup of flour. Mix this in very well. Next coating, seasoning flour. Three cups of flour going in. I'm going with a tablespoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of celery salt. Half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Teaspoon of ground thyme. One tablespoon of onion powder. Half a tablespoon of black pepper, tablespoon of white pepper, teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of paprika, or more because I like paprika, half a tablespoon of ground mustard. And nothing to this. Whisk this in, guys. Whisk this in very well. Alright, time to fry. Alright, here we go. How to get the perfect cooking oil for your fried chicken. So I got canola oil here, heating at 20 minutes around a medium low, medium high heat, or a four to five. For about 20 minutes guys, like I said already. <laughs> Take a wooden spoon or a chopstick guys, stick it in. If it starts bubbling up like this, you guys see that? Oil's ready and hot. So, what we're gonna do, make sure you got gloves guys, I got gloves, I found gloves in the house. So, we're gonna start with thighs first. I wanna say this, thighs take about 18 to 19 minutes guys. Drums take about 15 to 16, okay? So, in the plain white flour, shake off any excess into our batter. Once you got your batter, shake off any excess, guys. Then into seasoning flour. Seasoning flour, throw it on, pack it in. Pack it in very well, guys. Like, pack it, pack it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shake off any excess. And nothing to it, guys. Take this bad boy into the pool. I don't care if they can swim. You just gotta get in. Like I said, guys, frying time. 18. 19 minutes. 18 to 19 minutes up. Pull that fried chicken, guys. Just simple as that. I might have left this in a little longer, guys. Most beautiful thing ever, or what? Maybe I left it in a little long, guys. Maybe I should have took it out around uh, 18 minutes. Or 16 minutes, 17 minutes. But it looks beautiful. What do you guys think? Here we go. Best fried chicken ever made on YouTube. Guys, I'll buy this. Quick time. Another big shout out to Kevin on stage for that big blessing. Guys, buy this. Quick time. You guys got it. Nice. Come here. This is how you bite into some good fried chicken. Pump for this. Oh. That is crunchy. <laughs> that legit guy scraped my whole upper gums there. I should have took a little bite for you guys first just to hear it. But this is amazing. Just peep this little crunch here. Guys, peep this little crunch. Mm hmm. That's some really good crispy fried chicken. Mm. Seasoning, 10 out of 10. Crispiness. Ten out of ten. Juiciness. Mmm. Ten out of ten. <laughs> I've been trying to tell everybody. If you don't see anybody cleaning off their bone when they're eating fried chicken, you just can't trust them. <laughs> Tell you right now. 
Don't trust people with a dirty bone. Never. Alright? <laughs> if you guys bite into my fried chicken, it's gonna scrape your gums, I promise you. Just bite in slowly. Don't take big bites like me, alright? Like that. Small bites. Then you break the crust, get in on it. Oh wow. That's some good fried chicken. Just some really good fried chicken actually. Alright. Fried chicken shop is gonna go down. This legit is Okay. A few of you guys complained to me, or you guys emailed me and told me that the fried chicken crust is too crunchy. There it is, guys. Like I said, it's very crunchy. <laughs> That's gotta say something, right? If you guys listen to every step that I told you, your fried chicken will come out perfect like this. I promise you. I promise you. Don't believe me? Give it a try. A moment of size for this beautifulness. So, dark meat. Or not dark meat. The thigh. Look how that chicken crumbled. Can you see that? Oh, it's just perfect. Look at that. The skin on that crust. That beautiful meat, this right here is the best part. Here, guys, I'll bite this. Quick time! I just got it. Nice. Before we bite into this, guys, I just want you guys to look at this again. You guys see all that beautiful seasoning on there? Well, you can't really see the seasoning, but you see all that red, beautiful, marinated mark in there? That's a beautiful thing. Pomp for this. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Mm. That is juicy and good. <laughs> Alright. I got some hot cheese sauce on the side there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's been a while, guys. Yeah, I'll pull this out. It's been a while, guys, since I've eaten this. Beautiful chicken butt. Chicken butt, not chicken, you know. <laughs> okay, a bite of this, quick tap. You guys got it, nice. Just a bite, because I want to pour it in some crap, or hot cheese sauce. Pop for this. Mmm. There's that oyster. Here's the thing, I'm not sure about cheese sauce on fried chicken, guys. Fried chicken by itself already, if it's a good fried chicken, you need nothing on it. Guys, I'll buy this with the cheese sauce. Yeah, it's got it. Nice. Pop for this. Yeah, it's good. Well, but oh. Uh, Ung as in, you don't need it. <laughs> mm. 
The cheese sauce is delicious already. With something else. But with the fried chicken, I would say nah. Fried chicken is good by itself for you guys. Mm -hmm. It don't need nothing else. Nothing else. Because this is greasy already. So you're adding more grease to it, which makes it really un. So this is un already in the sense of there's enough flavor in this already. Why add more grease onto it? You know what I'm saying? Just for my, just in my opinion, guys. I know I cooked later, you guys, with the cheese sauce, but I just want to say that. <laughs> mm. The skin. Mmm. Try this recipe out. You will not regret it. I promise you. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your palm shares of food and life's beautiful. Yeah. It's been a week since I didn't have fried chicken, like I promised you guys. <laughs> I want to shout out this viewer right here. This inside of you right here. The name's viewer too. <laughs> he or she says, hey Quan, do you want to know the KFC secret recipe? I want to see you replicate it. Here's the secret recipe. When I looked at this guys, I'm confused on where the flour measurements are. So we got to redo this recipe. I want to say thank you to viewer who sent me this, the 11 secret ingredients for KFC chicken. But I want to say this, the tablespoons and the half tablespoons of this does not really matter just because there's no flour measurements to this. So we have to figure out the flour measurements and pair these all ingredients to the flour. So, let's make our twist on it. Morning to you! <laughs> Come here. Come say good morning. I'm just writing up a recipe right now. Just writing up a recipe right now. Are you ready to cook, kitty? Yeah, you're up and early ready to cook, huh, kitty? You have to make some noise while I'm making a recipe right now, kitty? You just wanted the airtime, Huh? Hi, little brat. You little brat. Let me show you how easy it is to make my twist, my take, copycat of KFC fried chicken. The best KFC copycat twist take of KFC fried chicken. Don't blink. All right, let's, hey, did I knock you guys? Apologize guys, so eight pieces of chicken here, dark meat. I'm gonna do one tablespoon of this. Take your beautiful clean hand. Get right into it guys. Get into every little crack of this, all right? Every single crack of this. Once you got that nice and covered, I'm just gonna throw this to the side. First coating of the chicken, plain white flour. Got a white coating, so three eggs. One can of club soda. I trigger people when I do this. I don't know why. I just need it out fast. Quick time, guys, come on. <laughs> to this, half tablespoon of salt. One cup of flour. Beat that in. Let's get this nice and beaded. Put to the side. The main event, the seasoning flour. So three cups of flour. To this, half tablespoon of ground thyme, half tablespoon of dry mustard, quarter tablespoon of dry basil, two tablespoon of paprika. That's all my paprika. I love paprika. I actually have smoked paprika here. Two tablespoon of white pepper, half tablespoon of ground ginger, one tablespoon of celery salt, one tablespoon of garlic salt, and one tablespoon of just regular salt. Quarter tablespoon of oregano. Last but not least, one tablespoon of black pepper. Nothing to it now, take that whisk. Whisk all that in very well. Once you got that nice and whisk, time to fry. So this is how you set the perfect frying oil. So I got vegetable oil here, heating up at a four, or if you guys don't have these dials here, a four is a medium heat. We're just gonna let that go for about 20 minutes, guys, before we start frying. 20 minutes up, all you're gonna do now, take a chopstick or a wooden spoon, stick it in. If it starts bubbling up like that, guys, the oil's ready. So all we're gonna do, take our drums first, into plain white flour, plain white flour, shake off any excess into our egg batter or egg wash. Shake off any excess guys into our seasoning flour. Into our seasoning flour and we're just gonna pack it in. Pack it in very well. Nothing to it now, shake off any excess into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just 
Damn. Cooking time, 15 to 16 minutes. Another thing guys, if you guys are frying fried chicken at home, do not overfill your pot or pan just because if you do overfill, the oil will drop its heat and mess up the whole technique of frying good fried chicken. So to this big pot here, I have roughly around four pieces. Five pieces is pushing it. Three to four pieces is enough. 15 minutes up. Hold up your fried chicken. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna strain all these bits and pieces out of the oil here. You have to strain all the bits and pieces out of the oil. If you don't, your second batch of fried chicken, it's gonna burn. Or these pieces gonna stick to your fried chicken and burn. Don't believe me? Leave it in then. <laughs> now nah, guys, don't leave it in, alright? Take it out. Next thing, thighs. Thighs take about 18 to 20 minutes. The bigger it is, the longer it sits in. So 20 minutes would be the biggest thighs you ever put in. So into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. All right guys, we're at this part of the video again where we just listen to that beautiful jazz music in the back and admire my fried chicken game. It's the most beautifulest fried chicken you guys will ever make at home. And save more money. Save more money and get more fried chicken. That's a win-win situation. The crispiest fried chicken you guys will ever bite into. I can't wait to bite into it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Still waiting on Chef Ramsay. I want everybody to go on my Instagram right now. Tag Chef Ramsay on this. Chef Ramsay. You're a cool guy, you're a cool chef, you're a great chef, but your fried chicken game is weak. <laughs> 18 minutes up for the thighs. Once you got it nice and fried, just throw it onto your plate. There it is. My take on crispy KFC secret recipe. Real question now, when are you guys gonna come by and grab some? Quick time guys, I'm pumped just to try this. Let's get into this. Let's do this, I'm pumped for this. Does this secret reveal KFC recipe taste like KFC? Well, it's my little twist and take on it just because uh, I think it was viewer, viewer who sent me the Secret ingredient did not add the flour intake on this. So I had to switch it up a bit just to fit with my flour intake, guys. Take the first bite of this. KOC secret <laughs> recipe. My twist and take on it. Quick time. Let's go. Nice. I'm pumped for this. It kind of does smell like KFC. I'm pumped for this. That's bombs. This, my friend, is bombs. The saltiness of this is very similar to KFC. This is so bombs. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how KFC tastes like that. <laughs> wow.
That's some bomb chicken right there. The taste. Does it taste like KFC fried chicken? I gotta have another bite. <laughs> I love fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Wow. I want to say it does, but it doesn't at the same time. But a little more tweak of this recipe, maybe add a little more and take a little more out and change a little ingredients here and there just because the basil I threw in kind of have this burnt taste to this. So the next time when I use basil, I'm gonna use powder basil so it does not burn. But overall, this is a bomb's chicken. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This right here, guys. So bombs. <laughs> The way and technique I use to cook my fried chicken can't be touched, guys. The seasoning can be changed, but the technique, like I said, guys, can't be touched. Guys, a bite of that. Quick time. Nice. It's perfect. Wow. Perfectly cooked fried chicken. What do you guys think? <laughs> like I said again, Chef Ramsay cannot touch my fried chicken game. Mm hmm. This is too good. <laughs> I recommend you guys do not eat as much as I do. Just mm. play. The salt content is pretty high. Last one. The side chicken ass right there. Guys, here it is. Quick time. Let's go. Nice. Super pump. Wow. Just amazing. Let's do this. Couple sips of this Gatorade before I go work out. Gotta fuel yourself up before you guys work out. Let's got it. Nice. Delicious orange flavor. <laughs> this is my pre-workout. Well, the meal was my pre-workout. This is just to wash it down. Time to pop through some questions, then we're gonna end this day. How do you feel 
about southern macaroni cheese from Trippin Fallen. I think it's delicious. <laughs> Quan, are you cutting notification gang uh, from Shizzy89? No, I'm not. I'm maintaining weight right now. After every food that you've made so far, what's your favorite tasting or making? Also, keep on the great work. I'm pumped from TN. Win fit. I don't, I don't have, I don't have a favorite. I'll say all of it is my favorite. I love food. I can make bomb ass, uh, egg tarts. Will you marry, <laughs> will you marry me? Uh, what do you do with the leftover from Catherine? Catherine, let me see your egg tarts. <laughs> Quan Tran, today's my birthday. I made 33 years old. Happy birthday, my friend. Is there an actual thought process going to your restaurant? If so, what are some of the items that you definitely be on the menu from Alpha Zero? Fried chicken. Expect some fried chicken. Guys, this is creepy. Look. Low key. You guys see that? <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> How come you never have a friend in a video from Seds World? Yes, I have. I had a few episodes. The camping one, uh, the seafood boil one. I'll say this summer, guys, there's going to be more guest appearances. Juan, what's your zodiac sign from Blessed and Beautiful Heister? I actually don't know. I, I don't know how zodiac sign works, so I'm not too sure. Describe your ideal vacation from Cindy B. My ideal vacation would be hiking somewhere and camping somewhere where I wake up and there's just a beautiful view and plenty of food, obviously. <laughs> when are you going to Vietnam to see your friend from Bubble Tea? <laughs> I want to say this summer. That's all for the questions today, guys. I will do my best to get it all done for this week. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your pop shirts or food life's beautiful thing shirt. Vanjo Merano po ng panlasangpinoy.com Ngayong araw natin magluluto tayo ng isang dish na paborito ng mga kids. Kaya mga mummies, para sa inyo itong recipe na to. At ang tawag ko dito ay Crispy Fried Chicken. Ito yung mga ingredients na gagamitin natin. Isang buong manok. Hiniwa ko lang ito into serving pieces at ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano. Kailangan lang natin dito ng matalas na kutsilyo. Kukuha tayo ng isang buong manok at pagkatapos si exercise muna natin ito. Dito sa may drumstick na part. Ayan, nilulusen lang natin itong mga joints. Kaya ko ito ginagawa. Nang sa ganun ay mas madali itong mahiwa. Kagawa lang tayo ng slit between dito sa chicken breast at drumstick. Ayan, para makita natin yung kaloob-looban. Pagkatapos, itutwist lang natin hanggang sa mag-pop yung buto na galing dito sa drumstick. Ayan, at ayan yung buto na sinasabi ko. Ayan, yung buto yung ating marker. Ibig sabihin yan, maghihiwa tayo pagkatapos ng buto. Nang sa ganun, panailaman na lang para pag hiniwa natin itong chicken drumstick, tuloy-tuloy yung paghiwa natin. Ayan, napakadali lang. Ito na yung ating unang chicken leg quarter. Gagawin lang natin yung parehong step dito naman sa kabilang side. So, ayan na yung buto. Ganun ulit, dating gawin. Ihiwain lang natin ito pagkatapos ng buto. Nang sa ganun, laman lahat yung hinihiwa natin, mas madaling mahiwa. Tanggal ka agad itong chicken leg quarter. Iset aside muna natin ito. Yung pakpak naman yung tanggalin natin. Pagdating naman sa pakpak, twist lang natin yung bahagi ng pakpak dun sa joint. Pagkatapos, itutuloy lang natin yung paghiwa. Kahit may buto itong pakpak, hindi masyadong matigas kaya madali nating mahiwa ito. Ito naman chicken breast. Ito may pattern tayo. Nakikita niyo yung fat mark dyan sa gilid. Dyan tayo maghihiwa para ma-separate yung chicken breast at yung carcass. So, ganyan kadali yan. Basta sundan lang natin yung fat mark. Ayan. Gagawin natin yung kabilang side. Ganun din. Itong fat mark na yan. Ayan. Iti-trace lang natin. Diba? Ang dali lang. Pagkatapos natin i-trace yan, nahiwalay na natin yung chicken breast at yung carcass. Yung carcass, ito yung part na may buto. Hindi natin gagamitin yan sa pagluto nitong ating crispy fried chicken. Ihiwalay natin yan. At itong carcass, tamang-tama itong paggawa ng soup stock. Nilalaga natin ito kasama ibang mga ingredients para gumawa ng soup stock. So itabi muna natin ito for future use. Itong chicken breast naman. Iwain ko lang yung dulo, itong breast no. So tinihaya ko lang. Gumawa lang ako ng konting hiwa sa dulo at pagkatapos ipipress lang natin ito. Magkakrak agad yung buto niyan. 
Ngayon ay madali na natin itong hiwain tuloy-tuloy na. Yan, isa-slice lang natin ito. Hahatiin lang natin sa dalawa. At ready na to. Ngayon, hihiwain lang natin ito ng malilit na peraso pa. Itong chicken breast, yung isang malaking peraso nito, hahatiin pa natin sa dalawa. Ayan, para saktong-sakto. Ganito din yung gagawin natin dun pa sa isang perasong chicken breast. At yung chicken leg quarter, isa-separate natin yung drumstick at yung thigh. At okay na to. Ito yung mga ingredient pa. Ito yung egg, dalawang peraso, all-purpose flour. Kagamit din tayo dito ng ground white pepper. At ng nor savorage, chicken liquid seasoning. Bukod sa mga ingredients sa to, kailangan din natin ng mantika. Diba? Konti lang ingredients. At ito yung kompletong lista ng mga ingredients na yan, kasama ang sukat ng bawat isa. Ready na ba kayo? Tara, umpisa na natin. I-prep muna natin itong manok sa pamamagitan ng paglagay ng mga marinade ingredients dito. At una kong ilalagay itong ating nor savorage na chicken liquid seasoning. Actually, ito lang talaga yung marinade natin. Ano? Ito lang yung magpapalasa. Naglalagay lang ako ng konting ground white pepper dito. Pero yung ground white pepper, optional lang. Pwede rin kayong gumamit ng ground black pepper. Pagkatapos ay haluin lang natin itong mabuti. Yan, ganyan lang kasimple itong ating marinade. dati rate di ba gagamit pa tayo ng toyo, ng kung ano-ano pang mga nilalagay. Ngayon, isa na lang. Ito lang nor savorish na chicken liquid seasoning. Nandiyan na lahat ng lasa na gusto natin. At ang kagandahan dito, concentrated itong produkto na to. Kaya konti lang ang kailangan natin mapapalasa na yung buong manok. Basta ang importante dito, siguraduhin lang natin na nakot na yung buong manok nitong ating marinade ingredients. At ang isa pang factor para magpasarap at para magpalasa rin dito sa manok ay yung time. Kadalasan kasi binababad natin ito hanggang mga tatlong oras, di ba? Para talagang manukot yung marinade. Dito, 30 minutes lang, okay na. Kung busy yung schedule nyo at talagang nagmamadali kayo, pero kailangan nyo magluto ng fried chicken para sa inyong pamilya. Nasubukan ko na ito ay dahil nag-experiment na ako dito sa ating bagong produkto. Napansin ko na 15 minutes pwede na. So 15 minutes lang na pagbabad. May lasa na itong fried chicken natin kapag niluto. Pero syempre, mas isasuggest ko sa inyo na tagalan ng konti yung pagbabad para mas maging malasa ito. Yan, pagkatapos, yan, ibabad muna natin ito at i-prepare na natin pagkatapos mababad. Ipiprito na natin itong chicken. Magpapainit lang tayo ng isang pan o ng isang wok at lagyan na natin ito ng mantika. Pagdating dito sa mantika, mas maganda kapag generous tayo. Mas gusto kasi natin yung uniform yung pagkakaluto sa manok. Pero nasa sa inyo pa rin kung talagang konti lang yung available na mantika, pagkasay na lang natin yan. Pabiyaan lang natin uminit itong mantika. At habang pinapainit yung mantika, i-prepare na natin yung eggs at itong all-purpose flour. Yung itlog ay ibibit muna natin o babatihin. At pagkatapos ay ready na to. Pwede na natin i-prepare yung chicken for frying. Ito yung gagawin natin sa manok. Ididredge muna natin yung manok dito sa harina. Pagkatapos ay ilalagay natin dito sa beaten egg mixture at ibabalik natin ulit sa harina bago iprito. Sampo na natin dito sa drumstick. Yan, idredge muna natin dito sa harina. At pwede rin tayong maglagay ng harina sa isang bag, katulad na lang ng ziplock bag. Pagkatapos isi-shake lang natin para mas mabilis na makot ng harina yung manok. I-shake lang natin yung excess na harina dito at pagkatapos ay i-dip natin kaagad dito sa ating beaten egg. Basta sinisigurado lang natin na nakot na ng beaten egg yung buong bahagi ng manok. At pagkatapos ay papatuluin lang natin yung excess na beaten egg bago natin ibalik yung manok dito sa harina. At itidredge lang natin uli. Ito na yung huling pagkakataon. Pagkatapos ay ipiprito na natin ito. Ganyan lang kasimple. Ito, one more time. Subukan naman natin dito sa chicken thigh. So, idredge lang natin yung thigh. 
Pagkatapos, ilagay natin dito sa itlog, ibalik natin dito sa harina, ready na to. Pwede na natin itong iprito. Masa gagawin natin yung same step dun sa lahat ng chicken slices na meron tayo. Iprito na natin itong manok dito sa mainit na mantika. Pagdating sa pagpapainit ng mantika, measure ko ang temperature nito para tamang-tama. 350 degrees Fahrenheit ang temperature na gusto natin bago natin ilagay yung manok. Pagdating naman dito sa pagprito ng manok, may sinusunod ako ditong oras. Basta ang total ay 12 minutes. Ang ginagawa ko ay piniprito ko muna itong isang side ng 6 minutes. At makara ng 6 minutes ay ibabaliktad ko na ito. Yan, nakita nyo naman, di ba? Maganda na yung pagkakabraw ng manok. Ang gagawin ko ngayon ay itutuloy ko yung pagprito dito sa kabilang side ng 5 minutes. Alam nyo ang kagandahan dito sa ginagawa natin ay nagiging crispy yung outer part ng manok pero yung loob, tamang-tama lang yung pagkakaluto at napaka-juicy pa. Ngayon ay ibabaliktad na natin ito uli. Ito na yung huling pagbabaliktad. At itutuloy lang natin ang pagprito ng 1 minute. At ready na yung manok natin. Kukuha lang tayo ng isang tray na merong wire rack. Ilagay na natin dito yung napritong chicken. Ito na yung ating crispy crispy na fried chicken. Ayan. At nakakatulong itong wire rack para mapatulo pa natin mabuti yung mantika. Nang sa ganun, hindi magiging mamantika itong ating fried chicken. Gagawin lang natin yung same step dun pa sa ibang mga manok na natira. Pabayaan lang natin itong mag-cool down ng mga 5 minutes. At pagkatapos, ilipat lang natin ito sa isang serving plate at iserve na natin. Ito na ang ating crispy fried chicken! Tara, tikman na natin to. Mmm! Hindi lang crispy. Juicing juicy pa. Ang lasa! Ang sarap! Kaya sana subukan nyo tong ating recipe. Sigurado ako magugusto nyo to. Kain tayo! Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's Fast Food Friday. Today, we're going to be making the most iconic fast food around the world. It is something that I have received thousands of requests for and we're going to do it today homemade. Of course, I'm talking about KFC's fried chicken. He's got budget meal Mondays, what you want Wednesdays, fast food Fridays, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen, where satisfying meals are prepared. So the first thing that we're going to do to get started on our fried chicken is just into a bowl, I've got some plain flour and we're going to season our flour. First I'm going to be adding in some salt and some pepper. Also going to be adding in some garlic powder. Next is some onion powder. And lastly, some paprika. And just give that a good mix around with the flour. So that's what you'll end up with, a beautiful flour spice mix. So we'll just put this to one side. So just into a separate bowl, I'm going to be putting in one egg. And I'm also going to add in some milk as well. And just mix the egg and the milk together, just give it a whisk. Now of course, you're going to need some chicken. Now the chicken that I've got is some drumsticks and some wings. If you wanted to do the chicken breast or the chicken tenderloin, you can as well. But just make sure the skin is on because that's how we're going to get that really crispy skin on the outside. So what I want you to do, really simple, is I want you to put the chicken straight into the egg wash. Make sure you get everything coated and then I'm going to be putting it straight into the flour and again make sure you get this really coated well. Now just shake off the excess flour and I'm going to double dip back into the egg and then back into the flour and what that will do is give us a really crunchy coating on the outside. And just keep repeating that process for all the chicken that you have. 
So once we've finished coating our chicken in the egg wash and the flour, we're gonna deep fry them. Now I've just got some vegetable oil in a large pan, and I've just put a bit of flour in the egg wash just in there to see if it's ready to fry. And if you do that and it sizzles and rises to the top, then you know it's hot enough. So we've got our chicken here all nicely coated, and I'm just gonna pop it in really carefully. Also with one of our wings as well. So guys, we wanna cook this for about 12 to 15 minutes, depending on the size of the chicken. But what we want essentially on the outside is a nice, dark, crispy skin with that batter. So guys, it's been about 10 minutes. You can just see here, that's the color that you're after, that beautiful golden brown color. So what I want you to do now is just turn the heat off, drain them on some paper towel, and then we can get stuck into these bad boys. So there you have it guys, it is so easy to make the smell as one oval and just looking at that crispy skin on the outside. Oh man, now just check that out. Now I'm just gonna show you something just here on the skin. I'm just gonna pull this back just so you can see there. We've got this beautiful moist chicken there and this crispy skin. Oh. Wow. Oh, Woo. man, Woo. it's hot too. Just check out that moist chicken in there. That skin is just peeling back. Wow, that is yum Oh, So give this one a go. It is so easy to do, it's cheap to do, and you'll have heaps of fun making it as well. You guys take care. I will see you this Monday for budget meals. So until then, take care. Welcome back to my Thai's cooking show. So today I'm going to be showing you a really delicious fried chicken steak. Now this recipe was requested by Ruby Red 2200. So enjoy the recipe. So first thing we're going to do is to show you how to cut the chicken because first place we need to make sure that the chicken is at the right length and width. So we want to cut it in half. This is chicken breast. You can also use chicken thighs. Cut it all the way in half. And I'm just going to be showing you the thighs. This has already been deboned. So now we're going to make the marinade. What I have here is three cups of water. We're going to add in half a cup of rice wine. One cup of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of grated ginger. And two tablespoons of five spice powder. And now we're going to add in three tablespoons of brown sugar. And then a generous amount of salt. Now let's mix it all together. All right. Now let's add in the, the chicken. We're going to let the chicken stay in the marinade for 30 minutes. So now that chicken has been marinating for 30 minutes, we're going to take them out. So this is going to become our batter. What we're going to do is to add one cup of cornstarch. Mix that together. Now let's add in the three eggs. And mix it again. Okay, now it's properly mixed. I'm gonna show you the batter. So here, I have a two to one ratio of sweet potato flour to panko breadcrumbs. And we're just gonna mix it together. Now, let's dip the chicken in the marinade and then put it with the flour. Now 
That's one. Let me show you again with the chicken thighs. Okay, now we're ready to fry. Okay, so now let's start frying the chicken. First, we're going to start with the chicken thighs. So we're going to let it fry for 6 to 7 minutes. Then we're going to take it out. Okay, now we're going to take the chicken out. Drain it. Put it on a paper towel. Let it rest. And now let's cook the other chicken. Okay, so now for the finishing touches, we're gonna add a little bit more of salt and pepper. Put these guys right here. Okay. Okay. So here you go. Enjoy the recipe. So now let's make the marinade. So we're gonna, we already, Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Assalamu alaikum, how are you all? I hope you all will be happy. Today I am going to make a delicious recipe for you. زبردست سی ریسپی لے کر آئی ہوں فرائیڈ چکن کی یہ فرائیڈ چکن بالکل کی ایف سی فرائیڈ چکن کے جیسا ہے آئی مین آپ ڈیفرنشیئیٹ ہی نہیں کر سکیں گے جب آپ اس کو گھر پہ بنائیں گے کہ کون سا آپ نے مارکٹ سے بائے کیا ہے اور کون سا گھر پہ بنا ہے ہوم میڈ اور ایک بار آپ اس ریسپی کو ٹرائے کر لیں گے تو آپ کو دوبارہ مارکٹ سے فرائیڈ چکن بائے کرنے کی ضرورت نہیں پڑے گی اس کے علاو میں نے ساتھ میں وائٹ گارلک سوس کی بھی ریسپی دی ہے جو کہ بہت ہی مزے کی اور کھریمی بنتی ہے اور اس کے ساتھ بہت مزا دیتی ہے تو آئیے اس ریسپی کو سٹارٹ کرتے ہیں ریسپی اچھی لگے تو لائک اور شیئر ضرور کر دیجئے گا فرائیڈ چکن بنانے کے لیے میں نے یہاں پہ لیے ہیں دس پیسز چکن کے اور یہ سکن کے ساتھ ہیں اگر آپ سکن پسند نہیں کرتے تو آپ سکپ بھی کر سکتے ہیں لیکن بیسٹ ریزلٹ کے لیے آپ چکن سکن کے ساتھ لیں اس کے بعد ایک بڑا سا بول لے کر جس میں کہ سارے چکن کے پیسز پورے آ جائیں شامل کریں آدھا کپ دودھ ساتھ میں ہی ایڈ کر دیں دو بڑے سائز کے انڈے ساتھ میں ہی جائے گا بنانا ہاف چائے کا چمچ نمک ایک چائے کا چمچ شامل کر دیں لال مرچوں کا پاورڈر آدھا چائے کا چمچ سفید مرچوں کا پاورڈر آدھا چائے کا چمچ لہسن کا پاورڈر اور آدھا ہی چائے کا چمچ جائے گا ادرک کا پاورڈر اس کے بعد شامل کر دیں دو کھانے کے چمچ سرکہ یا پھر لیمو کا رس میں یہاں پہ سرکہ استعمال کر رہی ہوں اور پھر اس کو اچھی طرح سے مکس کر لیں اب ایک ایک کر کے چکن کے جو پیسز ہیں ان کو آپ نے اس مکسچر میں ڈپ کرنا ہے اور اچھی طرح سے کوٹ کرنا ہے اس کے بعد کور کر کے آپ نے اس کو میرینیٹ کرنا ہوگا کم سے کم تین سے چار گھنٹے کے لیے اور اگر آپ رات بھر اس کو فریج میں رکھ دیں تو وہ بیسٹ ہے اور بھی اس کا اچھا فلیور آئے گا اور چکن بہت ہی جوسی تیار ہوگا چکن کو کوٹ کرنے کے لیے جو ڈرائی مکسٹر تیار کرنا ہے اس کے لیے آپ لیں گے دو کپ یا ڈھائی سو گرام کے جتنا میدہ آدھا کپ یا پچاس گرام کے جتنا کارن فلار یا آپ کارن سٹارچ بھی یوز کر سکتے ہیں ساتھ میں ہی ایڈ کر دیں تین چائے کے چمچ نمک ایک چائے کا چمچ لال مرچوں کا پاورڈر آدھا چائے کا چمچ کالی مرچوں کا پاورڈر آدھا کھانے کا چمچ بھر کے سفید مرچوں کا پاورڈر اور ایک چائے کا چمچ لیسن پاورڈر اب ان تمام چیزوں کو وسک کی مدد سے پہلے تھوڑا سا مکس کر لیں 
अब मसालों की इवन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के लिए और अच्छी मिक्सिंग के लिए ज़रूरी है कि आप इस ड्राई मिक्सचर को दो बार छान लें उसके लिए बटर पेपर या पार्शमेंट पेपर लेके या कोई भी पेपर लेके उसके ऊपर आप इसको छान लें और दोबारा से इस तरह से बोल में डाल देंगे तो दो बार आप इसको छान लें और फिर इस्तेमाल करें अब नेक्स्ट स्टेप स्टार्ट करने से पहले इसके ऑयल को गरम कर लेना है तो उसके लिए कोई इस तरह का पॉट या फिर कढ़ाई ले लें और बेस्ट रिजल्ट और फ्लेवर अगर आप चाहते हैं कि आए तो उसके लिए आप इसको कैनोला ऑयल में फ्राई करें जैसे कि मैं यहाँ पे ऐड कर रही हूँ और आपने इस तेल को गरम कर लेना है दरमिया आँच पे दस से बारह मिनट के लिए मीन वाइल तैयार कर लेते हैं मज़ेदार क्रीमी गार्लिक सॉस उसके लिए मैंने यहाँ पे लिया पाँच खाने के चम्मच दही साथ में दो तो खाने के चम्मच इसमें ऐड कर दें मेयोनीस इसके बाद इसमें ऐड करें आधा चाय का चम्मच लहसुन का पाउडर यानी कि गार्लिक पाउडर साथ में ही ऐड कर दें आधा चाय का चम्मच लेमन जूस यानी कि लीम का रस और फिर इसको अच्छी तरह से मिक्स कर लें और ये देखिए मज़ेदार होममेड क्रीमी वाइट गार्लिक सॉस तैयार है ये ज़रूर बनाइएगा क्योंकि इस फ्राइड चिकन के साथ ये बहुत मज़े की लगती है यहाँ पर चार घंटे हो चुके हैं मैंने चिकन को सिर्फ चार घंटे के लिए मैरिनेट किया है और अब इसकी कोटिंग किस तरह से करनी है उसके लिए सबसे पहले आप ले लेंगे चार कप ठंडा पानी चाहे तो बर्फ़ डालकर भी आप इसको बिल्कुल चिल कर सकते हैं लेकिन पानी ठंडा होना चाहिए तो सबसे पहले चिकन लेकर उसको आप ड्राई मिक्सचर में अच्छी तरह से कोट करें इसके बाद 10 से 12 सेकंड के लिए आपने इसको ठंडे पानी में डिप कर देना है और फिर इसके बाद ठंडे पानी में से निकाल के दोबारा से आपने इसको सेकंड कोट करना है ड्राई मिक्सचर का और मेक श्योर sure के हर तरफ ये जो ड्राई मिक्सचर है वो चिकन के ऊपर जो है वो लग जाए और इसी तरह से आपने तमाम पीसेस को कोट कर लेना है और उतने ही पीसेस को कोट करें जितने के आपने फ्राई करने हैं तेल फ्राइंग के लिए रेडी है या नहीं आप उसको चेक कर सकते हैं कोई भी टूथपिक या वुडन स्क्यूअर इस तरह से तेल में इंसर्ट करें अगर पबस बने तो तेल रेडी है बस अब एक एक करके चिकन के पीसेस ऐड कर दें और आपने पॉट को या कढ़ाई को ओवरफिल नहीं करना चिकन के पीसेस में थोड़ा गैप होना चाहिए बस अब आपने चिकन को डीप फ्राई करना है 12 से 15 मिनट के लिए और तकरीबन 6 से 7 मिनट आपने एक साइड पर इसको पकाना है यहाँ पर 7 मिनट हो चुके हैं और अब मैं चिकन के पीसेस की साइड को चेंज कर रही हूँ और फर्दर इसको 6 से 7 मिनट पकाऊंगी टोटल 14-15 मिनट यहाँ पे हो चुके हैं चिकन जो है वो फ्राई होके बिल्कुल रेडी है बस अब मैं इसको ऑयल में से रिमूव कर रही हूँ और इसको पेपर टॉवल के ऊपर रख रही हूँ ताकि जो एक्स्ट्रा तेल है वो एब्जॉर्ब हो जाए गरम गरम फ्राइड चिकन को सर्व करें घर के बने हुए फ्रेंच फ्राइज के साथ और साथ में वाइट गार्लिक सॉस और केचप के साथ सर्व करें अगर आपको ये रेसिपी अच्छी लगे तो इसको आगे शेयर करें और मुझे कमेंट सेक्शन में फीडबैक ज़रूर दीजिएगा और बताइएगा कि आपको रेसिपी कैसी लगी वीडियो देखने का बहुत शुक्रिया अगर आप चाहें तो मेरी बेटी का जो यूट्यूब चैनल है प्रिंसेस किरत उसको भी आप सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हैं मुझे अपनी दुआ में याद रखें अल्लाह हाफिज
السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو لائیو لی کوکنگ آج ہم بنائیں گے کرسپی فرائڈ چکن بہت ہی اسپائسی بہت ہی کرسپی آج میں آپ کو چکن بنانا سکھاؤں گی میں آپ کو کچھ ٹپس دوں گی اور ساتھ ہی کچھ باتیں آپ کو بتاؤں گی جس کو فالو کر کے آپ بہت ہی زبردست بالکل بازار جیسا فرائڈ چکن یعنی کہ بروسٹ بنا سکتے ہیں اس کے لیے سب سے پہلے ہمیں چکن چاہیے چکن آپ بہت بڑا نہ لیں تقریباً ایک کے جی کا چکن ہونا چاہیے اور سکن کے ساتھ ہونا چاہیے اور اسے آپ آٹھ پیسیز میں کٹ کروا لیں اب ہم اس میں پانی ایڈ کریں گے پانی تقریباً ایک لیٹر میں یہاں پہ لے رہی ہوں نارمل روم ٹیمپریچر پہ رکھا ہوا پانی ہونا چاہیے ایک لیٹر ادرک اور لہسن کا پیسٹ ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے دو کھانے کے چمچ دودھ ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے آدھا کپ نمک ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے تھری ٹیبل سپون اس کے علاوہ یہ سٹرک ایسڈ ہے یہ میں اس میں یوز کروں گی تقریباً ون بائی فور ٹی سپون اگر یہ اویلیبل نہیں ہے تو آپ اس میں سرکہ یا پھر لیمن یہ ایک کھانے کا چمچ یہ سرخ مرچ کا پاؤڈر ہے یہ میں یہاں پہ اس میں یوز کروں گی تھری ٹیبل سپون ہری مرچ کا پیسٹ میں اس میں ڈالوں گی ون ٹیبل سپون اچھے سے ہم اسے مکس کریں گے یاد رکھیں کہ اگر آپ اس میں جتنی بھی مرچیں ڈالیں تو یہ بعد میں کم ہو جائیں گی یہ صرف اسے فلیور دینے کے لیے میں اس میں مرچیں یوز کروں گی اور ساتھ ہی میں اس میں ڈالوں گی بیکنگ پاؤڈر ٹو ٹیبل سپون بھر کے یہ چکن کو گلانے میں ہیلپ کرے گا اب ہم اسے اچھے سے مکس کریں گے اور اسے اب ہم میرینیشن کے لیے چھوڑ دیں گے کم سے کم آپ اسے چھ گھنٹوں کے لیے چھوڑ دیں یا پھر آپ اسے اوور نائٹ کے لیے فریج میں رکھ دیں اگر گرمیاں ہیں تو آپ اسے فریج میں رکھیں اور اگر نارمل ٹیمپریچر ہے نارمل موسم ہے تو آپ اسے باہر بھی ڈھک کر رکھ سکتی ہیں چھ گھنٹوں کے لیے چھ گھنٹوں کے بعد اب ہم اسے کسی چھلنی میں ڈال کر ایسے کر کے اسے ڈرین آؤٹ کر لیں گے اور اسے خشک کر لیں گے اس کی سیکنڈ میرینیشن اب ہم کریں گے سیکنڈ میرینیشن کے لیے ہمیں ہاٹ سوس چاہیے ٹو ٹیبل سپون سویا سوس چاہیے ہمیں ون ٹیبل سپون اور سوس ہمیں چاہیے ون ٹیبل سپون اگر یہ نہ ہو تو آپ سویا سوس ٹو ٹیبل سپون یوز کر لیں آنین پاؤڈر یعنی کہ پیاز کا پاؤڈر ہمیں چاہیے ایک ٹیبل سپون اگر یہ اویلیبل نہ ہو تو آپ پیاز کا پیسٹ بھی یوز کر سکتی ہیں سرخ مرچ کا پاؤڈر ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے ایک ٹیبل سپون بھر کے چائنیز سالٹ یا پھر چکن پاؤڈر ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے ون ٹی سپون نمک ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے ون ٹی سپون سفید مرچ کا پاؤڈر ون ٹی سپون کالی مرچ کا پاؤڈر ون ٹی سپون اب ہم ان ساری چیزوں کو اچھے سے مکس کریں گے چکن کو ہم نے اس میں ایڈ کر لینا ہے اگر آپ کے پاس مسٹرڈ پاؤڈر ہو تو آپ اس میں ون ٹی سپون مسٹرڈ پاؤڈر ایڈ کر سکتی ہیں میرے پاس پاؤڈر نہیں ہے اس لیے میں اس میں ون ٹی سپون مسٹرڈ پیسٹ ایڈ کر رہی ہوں اس اسٹیج پر آپ نے اس کو میرینیٹ کرنا ہے لیکن آپ نے اسے فریج میں بالکل بھی نہیں رکھنا اچھے سے ہم اسے مکس کر لیں گے اور تقریباً ایک سے دو گھنٹوں کے لیے ہم میرینیشن کے لیے چھوڑ دیں گے گرمیاں ہیں تو پنکھے کے نیچے رکھ دیں اور اگر سردیاں ہیں تو آپ اسے ایسے ہی کور کر کے رکھ لیں ہم ایک دوسرا بال لیں گے اور اس میں ایک کلو میدا ایڈ کریں گے یعنی کہ آل پرپس فلور اب ہم اس کو سیزن کریں گے سیزننگ کے لیے ہمیں ایک ٹیبل سپون پیپر کا پاؤڈر چاہیے اگر آپ چاہیں تو آپ اس میں ون ٹی سپون ریڈ چلی پاؤڈر بھی ایڈ کر سکتی ہیں بیکنگ پاؤڈر ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے آدھا ٹی سپون آنین پاؤڈر یعنی کہ پیاز کا پاؤڈر ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے ون ٹیبل سپون اگر نہیں ہے تو آپ اسے اسکپ بھی کر سکتی ہیں یہ سیلری سالٹ ہے یہ بھی آپشنل ہے اگر اویلیبل ہے تو آپ اس میں ہاف ٹی سپون ایڈ کر دیں سفید مرچ کا پاؤڈر ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے ون ٹی سپون چائنیز سالٹ یا پھر چکن پاؤڈر ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے آدھا ٹی سپون کالی مرچ کا پاؤڈر ایک ٹی سپون گارلک پاؤڈر ایک ٹی سپون اوریگانو لیوس ہم اس میں ڈالیں گے ایک ٹی سپون لیکن اس میں ہم ڈائریکٹ نہیں ڈالیں گے ایسے کر کے چھان کر اس کا پاؤڈر ہم شامل کریں گے 
नमक हम इसमें थोड़ा ही डालेंगे तकरीबन वन टीस्पून या फिर इससे भी कम क्योंकि इससे पहले हमने मेरीनेशन में काफ़ी सारा नमक हम यूज़ कर चुके हैं अब हम सीजनिंग को अच्छे से इसमें मिक्स करेंगे और इसके बाद आप चाहें तो इसे छान लें इससे बहुत ही अच्छा मिक्स हो जाता है सारे मिक्सर को हम इस तरह करके छान लेंगे साइड पर रखेंगे ये मिक्सर हमारा तैयार है अब हम एक दूसरा बॉल लेंगे और इस बॉल में हम तकरीबन दो कप मैदा ऐड करके साइड पर रखेंगे अब हम घी गरम करेंगे मैं यहाँ पे आधा घी ले रही हूँ और आधा मैं कैनोला ऑयल यूज़ कर रही हूँ याद रखें कि इसमें आपने कैनोला ऑयल या फिर घी ही यूज़ करना है आ, ये इसलिए कि इसका बॉइलिंग टेम्परेचर जो है वो हाई है बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इसका हाई है तो ये इसके लिए ब्रोस्ट के लिए मस्ट होता है या फिर आप पीनट ऑयल यूज़ कर लें कोई भी अवेलेबल हो तो आप इन तीनों में से घी और कैनोला ऑयल या पीनट ऑयल आप इन तीनों में से कोई एक यूज़ कर लें अब हम एक दूसरा बॉल लेंगे और इसमें दो अदद अंडे तोड़कर डालेंगे थोड़ा सा हॉट सॉस मैं इसमें भी यूज़ कर रही हूँ ये ऑप्शनल है अगर आपको स्पाइसी चाहिए तो आप इसमें वन टेबल स्पून ऐड कर लें और अच्छे से ठंडा किया हुआ ना ठंडा किया हुआ अच्छे से खूब ठंडा किया हुआ पानी दो कप हम इसमें ऐड करेंगे और अब हम इसे अच्छे से बीट करेंगे ये बीट हो चुका है ये हमारा एग वॉश तैयार है अब हम चिकन को लेंगे चिकन जो हमने मेरीनेट किया हुआ था वो हम लेंगे एक पीस लेंगे और जो सिंपल हमारा मैदा था जो हमने अलग दो कप रखा हुआ था तो इसमें कोट करेंगे अच्छे से हमने कोट कर लेना है और जो इसका एक्सेस होगा वो हमने इसे झाड़ लेना है अब हम इसे एग वॉश में डिप करेंगे चिकन को हमने वन बाय वन एग वॉश में डिप कर लेना है और जो एक्सेस होगा वो हम इसे ड्रिप ऑफ कर देंगे हटा लेंगे इस तरह करके आप इसे झटक लें तो एक्सेस जो उसका होगा वो इसे हट जाएगा अब हम इस इसको सीजनिंग सीजन फ्लावर में अब हम इसे ऐड करेंगे चिकन को दो से तीन पीसेस आप एट अ टाइम इसमें ऐड करें और अब हम इसे आ, अच्छे से कोट करेंगे कोट करने के लिए आपको हाथों को मूवमेंट देना होगा इस तरह करके अब हम इसे इसके ऊपर थोड़ा सा सीजन फ्लावर ऐड करेंगे और इसके बाद हम इसे दबा दबा कर कोट करेंगे याद रखें कि अगर आपने इसे दबा दबा कर कोटिंग इसकी नहीं की तो इसकी कोटिंग उतर जाएगी और इस कोटिंग इसकी ठीक से नहीं बनेगी इस तरह करके आपने इसे दबा दबा कर कोटिंग कर लेनी है और अब इसे उठाकर हम इसकी सीट छलनी में रखेंगे छलनी को हम दो से तीन मरतबा इस तरह करके शेक शेक करेंगे और ये आप देख सकती हैं कि इसके इस, इसका जो कोटिंग है वो कितना ज़बरदस्त बन गया है अब हम इसे रखेंगे नहीं डायरेक्ट इसे फ्राई करेंगे फ्राई करने के लिए ये आप देख सकती हैं कि मैं यहाँ पे ऑयल को चेक कर रही हूँ अगर आपके पास थर्मामीटर हो तो आप थर्मामीटर से चेक कर ली थ्री डिग्री फॉन हाइट पर आपने इसे फ्राई करना है और अगर आपके पास थर्मामीटर नहीं हो तो आप सिंपली एक छोटा सा पीस लेकर इसको ऑयल में डालें अगर ये तैर कर एकदम से ऊपर आ जाए तो एक ऑयल आपका रेडी है दूसरा तरीका ये है कि आप लकड़ी का एक चम्मच लें और इसे इस तरह करके ऑयल में डिप करें यह आप देख सकती हैं कि इसके साइड में छोटे छोटे बबल्स आना शुरू हो गए हैं तो ये ऑयल हमारा बिल्कुल भी रेडी है ऑयल को आपने मीडियम टेम्परेचर पर मीडियम हीट पर आपने इसे गर्म करना है मीडियम से ज़्यादा और मीडियम से कम आपने इसको नहीं रखना ये भी ना हो कि आप ऑयल का टेम्परेचर आप हाई कर दें फ्लेम आप हाई कर दें कि हम इसको फ्लेम हाई फ्लेम पर इसको गर्म कर लें और बाद में हम इसको कम कर देंगे ये ऐसा बिल्कुल भी आपने नहीं करना आपने मीडियम हीट पर मीडियम फ्लेम पर इसे गरम करना है चाहे पाँच मिनट लगे चाहे छः मिनट लगे आपने इसे अच्छे से गरम कर लेना है मीडियम हीट पर और इसके बाद आपने इसमें चिकन के पीसेस डाल के फ्राई करने हैं आप बड़ा वाला पोट लें जो कि इस तरह खुले मुंह वाला हो और इसमें आप काफ़ी ज़्यादा ऑयल डालें और ये चिकन आपने तीन से चार ही इसमें एट अ टाइम ऐड करने हैं इससे ज़्यादा आपने इसमें ऐड नहीं करने पहले आपने छोटे वाले दरमियाने वाले पीसीज ऐड करने हैं और इसके बाद आपने बड़े वाले पीसीज ऐड करने हैं और चिकन तकरीबन 12 से 13 मिनट लगते हैं छोटे पीसीस यानी कि लग पीसीस को को खोने में तकरीबन 12 से 13 मिनट लगते हैं और जो ब्रेस्ट पीसीस होते हैं थोड़े से लार्ज साइज के उनको तकरीबन 14 से 15 मिनट लगते हैं ये तकरीबन 12 से 13 मिनट हो गए हैं और अब हम इसे डिश आउट करेंगे डिश आउट करने के लिए आपने इसे किसी भी किचन पेपर किचन टावल पर आपने इसे नहीं रखना इस तरह करके किसी छलनी में या फिर किसी वायर रेक के ऊपर आपने इसे रखना है ये पॉइंट बहुत ही ज़रूरी है सब पॉइंट्स को आपने स्टेप बाय स्टेप फॉलो करना है 
याद रखें कि पहले के दो से तीन मिनट आपने चिकन चिकन को बिल्कुल भी नहीं हिला मिनट के बाद आपने इसे हिलाना है और इसे मीडियम हीट पर ही आपने फ्राई करना है अगर आप लो रखेंगे तो ये सारा ऑयल जज्ब कर लेगा अगर आप हाई रखेंगे तो ये अंदर से कच्चा रह जाएगा और इसका जो आ, कोटिंग होगा ऊपर का वो जल जाएगा तो आपने मीडियम पर ही इसे फ्राई कर लेना है बहुत ही क्रिस्पी बहुत ही यमी हमारा आ, चिकन ब्रोच तैयार है बिल्कुल ही वैसा जैसा कि बाजार में मिलता है उम्मीद है आपको मेरी ये रेसिपी जरूर पसंद आएगी आप इसे बनाइए जरूर ट्राई कीजिए और अगर आपको कोई भी क्वेश्चन करना हो तो आप उसे कमेंट बॉक्स में जरूर पूछ लें मैं आपके हर आंसर का हर क्वेश्चन का आंसर देने की कोशिश करूंगी अगर आपको मेरी रेसिपी अच्छी लगती है तो मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलिएगा और मेरी रेसिपी को शेयर कीजिएगा अपने फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली के साथ थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग अल्लाह हाफिज Yeah, guys. Before we start this, go and cut yourself while you take the first bite. Shots or a nice one. Popeyes chicken. Let's go to war with them. Let's recreate their famous Popeyes chicken. First things first. Let's tear this chicken up. Look at that beautiful ass. Popeyes chicken don't have chicken ass on their menu, do they? <laughs> All right. For seasoning, I've got half a tablespoon of seasoning salt, half a cup of hot sauce in. I should have Louisiana, but I can't find Louisiana here. We're gonna let this marinate for one hour before we start battering and frying. Our batter for our Popeyes chicken: two cups of flour, three eggs, half a tablespoon of seasoning salt, club soda. I always use my club soda in fish, my bansal or Vietnamese crepe, just to get it crispy. And in my theory, this will get the chicken crispy. And I want a pancake. Light texture to this. Our last coating. So I got two cups of flour in, half tablespoon of seasoning, half tablespoon of poultry seasoning, one tablespoon of paprika, half tablespoon of pepper, cayenne pepper. Let's stir that up. Set to the side. Our buttermilk biscuit. One and a half cup of flour. One stick of cold butter in, which is now melting. It's all good. Now break it in. These butter pockets here will explode into the biscuit and make it nice and flaky. One teaspoon of baking powder, baking soda. Guys, I'm not a baker, okay? <laughs> now mix it in, these will pop up, trust. I cook from the heart, guys. I cook from the heart. One cup of buttermilk. And all I'm looking for is a nice soft dough. You don't need a machine, just use your hand. A little flour on the table. Get your nice soft dough of biscuits. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fold it. We're gonna knee and fold. This is just gonna help it be more layery, if that's even a word. I don't wanna overwork this, because it will get tough. Nothing to it, guys. I'm just gonna roll this out. I'm gonna roll this out into one inch thick. I don't got a cutter, I got this. <laughs> Make our biscuits. Just like that, guys. Throw it to the side. Continue. Repeat your process. Popeye's chicken. I'm coming for you. KFC, you're next. <laughs> Throw it on your baking sheet. In the oven at 375 for 10 to 15 minutes. Last but not least, our Cajun fries. Some guys do ask if I do wash my fries or my potatoes ahead of time. I don't, just because it's not safe, guys. <laughs> Reason why it's not safe, because it just slides around. I wash it after, though. Some guys also ask why I keep the skin on. More fiber and texture, guys. Cut fries into fries. Cut down half. Cut down another half. Cut down another half, then we'll just chop it down. And you got your fries right here. Beautiful matchstick fries. Wash, drain, blanch. The batch we have here, we're just gonna blanch this for five minutes, guys. For half of the batter, I'm gonna separate the two just to avoid cross contamination. One for fries, one for chicken. Five minutes up, take out your fries. All right, guys, our biscuit is done. Time to just top it off with some more butter. 
Not bad for eyeballing it, eh guys? <laughs> Just gonna let that sit for the time being. Let's fry up some chicken. You guys want to know how I test out my perfect frying oil. So I have this oil heating up for 10 minutes on a max. I take my chopstick. If the chopstick bubbles up, this is what I do. Turn down the heat by a bit for five minutes before we start frying. So our setup here, marinated hot sauce chicken, plain flour, our batter here, and our seasoned flour here. Now I take our chicken, throw it into our plain flour. Look at that beautiful ass, guys. Popeyes don't make chicken ass. Fried chicken. But here, guys, here, I do. <laughs> Once it's drenched, throw it into our batter. So batter, shake it off, batter it up. Coat it good, guys. So this is our seasoning flour now. Take our ass. Look at that. That's a beautiful ass. <laughs> Getting to it now. Shake off all the excess. Everybody in the pool. Everybody in the pool. I don't care if you can't swim, just get in the pool. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because I can't swim. Explain why I put it down by medium, guys. Because you want the chicken to cook and not burn. Iconic Popeye's look right there. Flaky crust. Beautiful. 15 to 20 minutes up, guys. Just taking it out. Look at that. And this is what I'm going to do. Get the heat up on high again. Same routine guys, so high for five minutes, medium for five minutes. Run your next batch. Chicken is all complete. Check out that crust guys. Check out that crust. Fries. I'm just gonna dunk this into this batter. Dunk it in. Cajun fries complete. Cayenne pepper, paprika, salt and pepper, chili flakes, pinch of oregano. Cajun fries complete. Throw on our chicken. Season fries. Cajun fries. There it is guys, your Popeyes, biscuits, Cajun fries, recreated. Make it at home guys. All right, guys, let's do this. Popeyes fried chicken made at home. So we got this, let's start off with this guys. The drum, take the first bite of this. Quick time guys, you guys see that? I think I got it down. So Popeyes, give me a shout. <laughs> KFC, I'm coming after you guys after. Put down below guys, who do you want me to come after next? Take the first bite of this guys. Quick time. You guys got it. Nice. Mm-hmm. Sorry. That's legit. When I say hot, it has that kick. It has that. Mm-hmm. KFC chicken wings or KFC chicken hot wings. Hot. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Look at that seasoning on there. You guys see that? <laughs> wow. Best breakfast ever. Wow, wow. Hmm. Cajun fries. Take the first bite of this, guys. You guys got it. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna open my own Popeyes. <laughs> I call it Quan Eyes. 
Biscuit. Check that out. I'm gonna show you how flaky it is. Ready? Guys, that nice, soft inside. That nice, beautiful layers. I wanna say butter. Pockets of butter. Guys, here, take the first bite of this. Quick time. Wait, 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 wait. I goofed it so bad. No honey. But here, take the first bite of this. Our biscuit. Yes, yeah, got it. Nice. Mmm. So, flaky, dry. <laughs> but biscuits are supposed to be dry. They're not dry, moist. Hmm. This is a meal right here. Where's that chicken ass? Take a bite of this chicken ass. Tell me, does Popeye serve chicken ass? No? Well here, at Quan Eyes, we do. Yeah, guys, got it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> that crust. <laughs> Take a bite of that side chicken ass right there. Quick time. Yes, got it. Nice. Welcome to Flavor Town. Popeyes. <laughs> Come see me. <laughs> KFC. Come see me. Wow. The taste. I'm gonna say this. Better than Popeyes. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. Come see me. Mmm. It's a beautiful ass. <laughs> that back skin. Look at that back skin, guys. Crispier than ever. Guys, here. Another bite of that back skin. I want you guys to try this. Nice. Wow. That is low. Hmm. Wow. You wanna see how juicy that is? You see that juice? Wow. I'll tell you right now. My hand is scorching hot from that hot sauce and I still feel it. <laughs> wow, that tail. <laughs> I think Popeye's two piece is around $10. Or four piece is ten dollars. No, I think three piece without the drink. All of this, fifteen dollars. Make it at home, guys. Follow this recipe. <clears throat> if you guys don't have a Popeyes in your country. Give this a try and tell me how it is. Hmm. What a beautiful thing. Wow.
if only I could eat this all, I wouldn't. Let's go one more piece. Let's do this one. The thigh. Guys, here. The thigh. Take a second, fifth bite of this. Is it the fifth bite? The fifth bite of this. Yes, got it. Nice. That's what's up. That's what's up. Look at the crust. That's the iconic crust, guys. The iconic crust that puts Popeyes different from other other fried chicken fast food establishment. Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's love. Look at the inside. Where you see some of the hot sauce still in there. Hmm. This is good for your soul. It cannot be good for your health. Maybe. <laughs> Wow. wow. <laughs> One more. One more. Then we'll call it quits. Yeah. Not the good biscuit. Hmm. I'll say more soft. More softer than Popeyes. Popeyes more flaky. With the crust. I got the crust right. Last one for sure. The drum. Seventh bite, sixth bite? I don't even know, guys. Look at that beautiful crust. That's beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> Offer still stands. If you guys think you can eat more fried chicken than me, pull up on me. <laughs> and I'll make this recipe. And we'll have a sit down and eat. I have to control myself. Let's have a bit more of this, guys. Mmm. The beautiful Cajun fries. Hmm. I knew they had a batter on this. Maybe not as thick as this, but they had like a nice coat on it. Remember the time I was telling you about club soda? Try it guys. This is why I always love club soda. It gives it that Nice thin layer of batter. It's so crunchy. One more. <laughs> One more breakaway of this biscuit here. Look at that. Mmm. -hmm. That's soft. Buttery. Nice and flaky. Mmm. -hmm. Some days I just want to sit down and just eat the biscuit only. 
we tend to lose appreciation for all the other sides because this is pretty overpowering already. So is this. The biscuits get slapped from behind. And a lot of people enjoy it. Well, I'm here to say that mm, I enjoy it. I don't know if that makes sense. <clears throat> no more, no more. Nothing to it now, guys. Pack it up, save it for next day. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your Take the First Bite shirts or a nice one like this. Share this. Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Hey, today I'm doing another finger food classic, which would be Cheddar Ranch Chicken Strips. If you notice, this is like a little different setup. You know, usually I stand at, uh, at my counter, you know, where I prep the uh, food. And, you know, and I, re you know, I film and I do everything there. This time I'm trying to do something different, set it up on a table, you know, get me some props. I'm really just trying to find myself, find my identity, you know, with the channel. And I ask that everybody watch this video, you know, tell me, leave a, uh, a comment, a suggestion, or something. So, if you've been watching some of my previous videos, take a look at those, come on back, and then let me know how you like this setup. And I promise you, this is going to grow. You know what, I really uh, have a passion for this cooking. Can't wait to get to the grill. And listen, I got to clear this up, and I say this in about every three or four videos. I know my channel is called Smoking and Grilling with AB. But it seems like everything I put up is under my playlist, Cooking with AB. But whenever I get a chance to go home, you know what I mean, and uh, get, get to my, my yard, start doing what I do, you guys are going to find out that Smoking and Grilling, that's me, AB. That's my thing. So, without no further ado, let's get right into it. Cheddar Ranch Chicken Strips. Mm.
Yeah. Guys, before we start this, go and cop yourself where you take the first bite. Shots or a nice one. Popeye's chicken. Let's go to war with them. Let's recreate their famous Popeye's chicken. First things first, let's tear this chicken up. Look at that beautiful ass. Popeye's chicken don't have chicken ass on their menu, do they? <laughs> All right, for seasoning, I've got half a tablespoon of seasoning salt, and half a cup of hot sauce in. I should have Louisiana, but I can't find Louisiana here. We're gonna let this marinate for one hour before we start battering and frying. Our batter for our Popeye's chicken. Two cups of flour, three eggs. We have a tablespoon of seasoning salt, club soda. I always use my club soda in fish, my bansel or Vietnamese crepe, just to get it crispy. And in my theory, this will get the chicken crispy and I want a pancake like texture to this our last coating so I got two cups of flour in half tablespoon of seasoning half tablespoon of poultry seasoning one tablespoon of paprika half tablespoon of pepper cayenne pepper I'll stir that up set to the side our buttermilk biscuit one and a half cup of flour one stick of cold butter in which is now melting it's all good and I'll break it in these butter pockets here will explode into the biscuit and make it nice and flaky. One teaspoon of baking powder, baking soda. Guys, I'm not a baker, okay? <laughs> now mix it in, these will pop up, trust. I cook from the heart, guys. I cook from the heart. One cup of buttermilk. And all I'm looking for is a nice soft dough. You don't need a machine, just use your hand. A little flour on the table. Get your nice soft dough of biscuits. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fold it. We're gonna knee and fold. This is just gonna help it be more layery, if that's even a word. I don't wanna overwork this, because it will get tough. Nothing to it, guys. I'm just gonna roll this out. I'm gonna roll this out into one inch thick. I don't got a cutter, I got this. <laughs> Make our biscuits. Just like that, guys. Throw it to the side. Continue. Repeat your process. Popeye's chicken. I'm coming for you. KFC, you're next. <laughs> Throw it on your baking sheet. In the oven at 375 for 10 to 15 minutes. Last but not least, our Cajun fries. Some guys do ask if I do wash my fries or my potatoes ahead of time. I don't just because it's not safe, guys. <laughs> Reason why it's not safe because it just slides around. I wash it after though. Some guys also ask why I keep the skin on. More fiber and texture, guys. Cut fries into fries. Cut down half, cut down another half. Cut down another half, then we'll just chop it down. And you got your fries right here. Beautiful matchstick fries. Wash, drain, blanch. The batch we have here, we're just gonna blanch this for five minutes, guys. For half of the batter, I'm gonna separate the two just to avoid cross contamination. One for fries, one for chicken. Five minutes up, take out your fries. All right, guys, our biscuit is done. Time to just top it off with some more butter. Not bad for eyeballing it, eh guys? <laughs> I'm just gonna let that sit for the time being. Let's fry up some chicken. You guys want to know how I test out my perfect frying oil. So I have this oil heating up for 10 minutes on a max. I take my chopstick. If the chopstick bubbles up, this is what I do. Turn down the heat by a bit for five minutes before we start frying. So our setup here, marinated hot sauce chicken, plain flour, our batter here, and our seasoned flour here. I'm gonna take our chicken, throw it into our plain flour. Look at that beautiful ass, guys. Popeyes don't make chicken ass fried chicken. But here, guys, here, I do. <laughs> Once it's drenched, throw it into our batter. So batter, shake it off, batter it up. Coat it good, guys. So this is our seasoning flour now. Take our ass. Look at that. That's a beautiful ass. <laughs> Getting to it now. Shake off all the excess. Everybody in the pool. Everybody in the pool. I don't care if you can't swim. 
Just get in the pool. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because I can't swim. Explain why I put it down by medium, guys. Because you want the chicken to cook and not burn. Iconic Popeye's look right there. Flaky crust. Beautiful. 15 to 20 minutes up, guys. Just taking it out. Look at that. And this is what I'm going to do. Get the heat up on high again. Same routine, guys. So high for five minutes, medium for five minutes. Run your next batch. Chicken is all complete. Check out that crust, guys. Check out that crust. Fries. I'm just gonna dunk this into this batter. Dunk it in. Cajun fries complete. Cayenne pepper, paprika, salt and pepper, chili flakes, pinch of oregano. Cajun fries complete. Throw on our chicken. Season fries. Or Cajun fries. There it is guys, your Popeyes, biscuits, Cajun fries, recreated. Make it at home guys. All right, guys, let's do this. Popeyes fried chicken made at home. So we got this, let's start off with this guys. The drum, take the first bite of this. Quick time guys, you guys see that? I think I got it down. So Popeyes, give me a shout. <laughs> KFC, I'm coming after you guys after. Put down below guys, who do you want me to come after next? Take the first bite of this guys. Quick time. You guys got it. Nice. Mm-hmm. Try it. That's legit. When I say hot, it has that kick. It has that. Mm-hmm. KFC chicken wings or KFC chicken hot wings. Hot. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Look at that seasoning on there. You guys see that? <laughs> wow. Best breakfast ever. Wow, wow. Hmm. Cajun fries. Take the first bite of this, guys. You guys got it. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna open my own Popeyes. <laughs> I call it Quan Eyes. <laughs> Biscuit. Check that out. I'm gonna show you how flaky it is. Ready? Guys, that nice, soft inside. That nice, beautiful layers. I wanna say butter. Pockets of butter. Guys, here. Take the first bite of this. Quick time. Wait, 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 wait. I goofed it so bad. No honey. But here, take the first bite of this. Our biscuit. You guys got it. Nice. Mmm. Soft. Flaky. Dry. <laughs> but biscuits are supposed to be dry. They're not dry. Moist. Hmm. This is a meal right here. Where's that chicken ass? Take a bite of this chicken ass. Tell me, does Popeye serve chicken ass? No? 
Well, here, I quantize, we do. Yeah, guys, got it. Nice. Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> that crust. <laughs> Take a bite of that side chicken ass right there. Quick time. Yes, got it. Nice. Welcome to Flavor Town. Popeyes. <laughs> Come see me. <laughs> KFC. Come see me. Wow. The taste. I'm gonna say this. Better than Popeyes. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. Come see me. Mm. It's a beautiful ass. <laughs> that back skin. Look at that back skin, guys. Crispier than ever. Guys, here. Another bite of that back skin. I want you guys to try this. Nice. Wow. That is low. Hmm. Wow. You wanna see how juicy that is? You see that juice? Wow. I'll tell you right now. My hand is scorching hot from the hot sauce and I still feel it. <laughs> wow, that tail. <laughs> I think Popeye's two piece is around $10. Or four piece is ten dollars. No, I think three piece without the drink. All of this, fifteen dollars. Make it at home, guys. Follow this recipe. <clears throat> if you guys don't have a Popeyes in your country. Give this a try and tell me how it is. Hmm. What a beautiful thing. Wow. If only I could eat this all. I wouldn't. Let's go. One more piece. Let's see this one. The thigh. Guys, here. The thigh. Take a second, fifth bite of this. Is it the fifth bite? The fifth bite of this. Yes, got it. Nice. Chop the salt. That's what's up. Look at the crust. That's the iconic crust, guys. The iconic crust that puts Popeyes different from other other fried chicken fast food establishment.
Mmm. <laughs> That's love. Look at the inside. Where you see some of the hot sauce still in there. Hmm. This is good for your soul. It cannot be good for your health. Maybe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> one more, one more, then we'll call it quits. Yeah, not the good biscuit. Hmm, I'll say more soft, more softer than Popeyes. Popeye's more flaky. With the crust. I got the crust right. Last one for sure. The drum. Seventh bite, sixth bite? I don't even know, guys. Look at that beautiful crust. That's beautiful. Hmm. Offer still stands. If you guys think you can eat more fried chicken than me, pull up on me. <laughs> and I'll make this recipe. And we'll have a sit down and eat. I have to control myself. Let's have a bit more of this, guys. Mmm. The beautiful Cajun fries. Hmm. I knew they had a batter on this. Maybe not as thick as this, but they had like a nice coat on it. Remember the time I was telling you about club soda? Try it guys. This is why I always love club soda. It gives it that nice thin layer of batter. It's so crunchy. One more. <laughs> One more breakaway of this biscuit here. Look at that. Mmm. -hmm. That's soft, buttery, nice and flaky. Hmm. Some days I just want to sit down and just eat the biscuit only. We tend to lose appreciation for all the other sides because this is pretty overpowering already. So is this. The biscuits get slapped from behind. I know a lot of people enjoy it. Well, I'm here to say that mm, I enjoy it. I don't know if that makes sense. <clears throat> no more, no more. Nothing to it now, guys. Pack it up, save it for next day. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your Take the First Bite shirts or a nice one like this. Share this. Peace out. Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with my recipe for buttermilk fried chicken, one of my favorite recipes of all time, and not that hard to put together. 
And uh, just for fun, I'm going to show you how I break down a whole chicken for fried chicken. I'm going to take off the wing tips. Those are useless. I'm going to dejoint the wings right where they attach to the body. All right, the thigh leg section comes off. Don't be afraid to snap and dislocate. And then that gets cut between the drumstick and the thigh. Yes, this is quick, but go back and watch it, you know, seven or eight times. You'll see. So once the legs and thighs are done, I'm left with basically the carcass, which has the backbone and the breast. And you'll notice I'm using a nice heavy cleaver, the ultimate tool for a chicken breakdown. Snap the backbone like that, cut the breast in half, and then each breast gets cut in two pieces. All right, and you'll notice here when I cut the breast in half, I slice down till I hit the bone and then I give it one pound with my hand so it goes through in one shot nice and clean. Otherwise you get like bone fragments. So there's my four breast pieces, my two thighs, drumsticks, and the two wings. All right, into the bowl it goes. Black pepper, salt, paprika, dried herbs, white pepper, cayenne, and that gets tossed. All the, believe it or not, 11 herbs and spices will be on this site. Okay, after that's well tossed with the spices and herbs, you're going to top it with buttermilk, and we're going to let that sit for six hours. You can get away with four. You can go overnight if you want, but I like six hours. All right, then we're going to make some seasoned flour, which is just flour, salt, some paprika, some cayenne, some garlic powder, some white pepper, and some onion powder. So give that a mix. After the buttermilk marination, the chicken pieces get dredged. Oh my God, there's a fire truck going by. Hate when that happens. The chicken gets dredged in that seasoned flour well. There you want it really nicely coated. Give it a little shake off, put it on a plate, and then we're ready to fry. And what we're gonna do, and there's lots of different ways to fry this. I'm gonna take a Dutch oven. All right, that's a big eight quart Dutch oven. And I have about, two and a half quarts of oil in there. And I'm gonna fry all eight pieces at once. Now some people like to fry in a skillet in just like an inch or two of oil, and then they do it in batches and they turn it halfway through. You know, I don't have the patience. I want it to all be done at the same time. Of course this uses twice the oil, but you know what, how often do you make fried chicken? Like once a year? So at 350, I'm gonna cook that for about 10 minutes. It's going to develop a nice crust. I'm going to go in after 10 minutes and just move it around a little, just in case some pieces are stuck together. I want to cook evenly. That's going to go for about another 10 to 15 minutes. So it's about 20, 25 minutes total in the hot oil to cook all the way through. Now, while that's finishing up, I like to take a rack and put it on some paper towels on a sheet pan. And that's what I'm going to use to drain the cooked chicken on. All right, so that's ready. And the chicken's ready. Look at that. Unbelievably beautiful. So again, that's been about 20 to 25 minutes total in the oil. I'm going to fish it out with my spider, that little strainer thing you see there. And what beautiful chicken. Impossibly crispy, amazingly delicious. Don't bite into it for about 10 minutes because it's so hot. You won't enjoy it. You'll just burn yourself. So 10 minutes later, we had a delicious plate of fried chicken. And I just could not bring myself to eat this in front of you. But trust me, it was every bit as good as it looks. That is not a hard recipe. It does take a little bit of work, but completely worth it. So like I said, 11 herbs and spices, believe it or not, are what was included in this. You can go to the site, count them yourself, because all the ingredients are listed there. And as always, enjoy. Welcome back to my channel. Smoking and grilling with me, AB. Today's video is a collaboration between myself and No Hippie Barbecue and Cooking. We're going old school, folks. We're going back to, I know it's going to sound crazy, but we're going back to the grease. You know what? We're going to do fried chicken, old school, just like grandma used to make, you know, back in the day. So I'm going to show you my version and he's going to show you his version. And then we're going to take a look and just see, you know, the different seasonings that people use on different, you know, in different parts of the, uh, the country. Now, let me go ahead and clear up one thing. Listen, I saw a video. It was yesterday on Facebook and it says AB is repping Compton, but he's moved to Riverside. Let me give you a fact. I'm from South Central and yes, I'm repping Riverside. So 
Let me go ahead and finish shooting my ingredients and let's get right into the video. First thing first, you wanna wash your chicken, wash it thoroughly, and then make sure it's completely dry. Once you've uh, washed your chicken and you've uh, dried it off, so listen, we're gonna start with two eggs. J.O. seasoning. Then I'm coming with a little garlic powder. Check this out. This is uh, a little chicken seasoning. I'm gonna show you, let me show you right now. That's this right here. Stumbled across this in the store out here in Maryland. And this right here is the bomb. You know what I mean? Listen, I gotta admit, there's a lot of uh, different chicken seasonings you can use, you know what I mean, that I like also, but this right here, I like it. So, got another heaping, you know, tablespoon. A little parsley. Uh, about a tablespoon. So, and then what we do is we just mix it up. Hey, Lyle. Let me take the time to say, hey, thank you, bro. This was an excellent idea of me, you and I doing a uh, collab. You know what? My grandma would be proud of me to see me doing it, you know, the way that she showed me how to do it. I added just maybe a couple, just two, two little things, you know, outside of that. You know what I mean? My grandma would just love to see me in the kitchen doing me. Now, let me go ahead and get my flour ready. What I'm adding to my mix, my uh, flour right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put one cup flour. Now I got my flour in the bowl. And so listen, we already seasoned the chicken, but we are gonna put a little seasoning inside of the flour also. So here, I just do this by sight. You know, I do a little sprinkle. So we are gonna start with a little garlic powder. Just give it a, just give it a little bit. You gotta have that chicken seasoning. A little basil, a little thyme, just a little bit, and a little rosemary. And then for that magic, just that J.O., you gotta put a little bit of that in there. Now listen, for those of you that's trying to figure out, if you don't have a uh, J.O. seasoning, I'm starting to find out it's something more so catering to like uh, this Maryland, uh, you know, East Coast area. Listen, J.O., and uh, Old Bay, they similar, you know what I mean? But J.O. has his own flavor, you know, his own taste, and uh, Old Bay has its own. So listen, this is about what it looks like. I haven't stirred it yet. Now I'm getting ready to mix it all up. Hey, Lyle, I wish you was here, buddy. So we got our flour seasoning. I'm getting ready to uh, add the oil to my uh, pot. I'm getting ready to start heating that. The uh, marinating chicken should be coming out in maybe about 15, 20 minutes. You know what I mean? I start to ensure that my grease is hot. You know what I mean? I like it right around 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So let me get started with that. Okay, I'm starting off with uh, vegetable oil. This is by Wesson.
Let's test our oil. Right now I'm looking for 350 degrees. Okay, now that I'm done, here's my uh, old school, you know, grease fried fried chicken. And don't forget, this was a collaboration between myself and No Hippie Barbecue uh, and cooking. And here's his page right here. You can look, he got a lot of recipes on here. Listen, I cruise this page uh, weekly. You know what I mean? This is how I come up with some of my ideas and you know, sort of jar my brain so I can figure out, you know, what I'm gonna cook, you know? So again, that's No Hippie Barbecue and cooking. And myself smoking and grilling with me, A B. Now let's go ahead and give it, get a piece of this. Hmm. Show you something. Look at that. Juicy. Look at that crust. Man, that was good. Again. This is my version, the way we do it, you know, on the West Coast, South Central. Now I moved to Riverside. I got it, man. Hey, it didn't do nothing but make me laugh, bro. That was some funny stuff, man. Hey, love your sense of humor. So don't forget, check out Lau, No Hippie Barbecue and Cooking. I put the iCard in the link above, and uh, here you go. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm out. Hey, Mason, I got something for you, bro. You can get all this chicken that you want, man.